What's up there everybody? I have Vision here and today I'm doing a special how-to episode that is how to modify callouts for your mods in Emergency 4. So first thing you need to do obviously is navigate to your mods folder in Emergency 4. Wherever you have that stored, whether it's under Steam or if you can, I know you can get the game off Amazon too, so I'm not really sure what stored. So find your mods folder in 911 for responders or emergency four the mods there then you could see you have a list of mods that you could see i have quite a few here um not actually quite a few there i have, I have a more but not all of them are in, put in the folder here so don't have access to it so we're going to go into any of these mods here and uh let's go with kent mod now the folder you want to go into to change the calls is the specs folder here and then once you're in here you'll see a bunch of these files a bunch of stuff you guys probably don't know what's going on two files that you have to modify are the FP params challenge and the FP params endless. If you have the deluxe version of the game, you will then modify the FP params challenge dash D and the FP params endless dash D. Those are the files you need to change. Or you only need to change the dash D ones if you have the deluxe version of the game only, deluxe version only. So we're gonna head in here. You can see the XML files. Right click on it, you can open it with Anything there, Notepad, WordPad, Notepad++, whatever you use for your documents. Uh, I would imagine you could probably use Word as well. Not 100% positive as I have not tried it with Word. So what we're going to do, we are looking uh, at things that you can modify in this folder. Let's blow this guy up here as you can see what we have going on. The minimum duration between events. This is what I've been changing in the last few months. Uh, episodes. Uh, this is to give us a little bit more time. If you've got a mod that goes a little bit faster as well, you can change it. Right now, the current value for this mod is set for 60. Uh, in the forums, people generally say 120 is the is the average or the best sweet spot there. This is between calls. So if you have a structure fire, it's going to then restart the clock again. If the structure fire takes you five minutes to put out in real time, another two or three calls could happen in this period. Remember, this is the minimum duration only. Uh, the max idle duration here is set for 10. Not really sure what the max idle is set for. Uh, it was never mentioned in the forms what that one does. They just talk about the minimum duration here. So we're gonna set that for 100. Uh, so that gives us roughly about a minute and 40 seconds of, of time between events, for between call outs. So remember though, that does not base it on the time that you finish a call out, it's the time between call outs. Uh, other things that people like to change are the budgets at the beginning. Uh, you know, your starting budget there. Budget usually isn't an issue with the mods, so you can usually leave it at what it is. The other big one that people like to change though is the start time value. That you wanna start at the morning, day, afternoon, night, you know, whatever. I said day, afternoon there, it's kind of the same thing. So you can change that right here under the start time value. The other main thing that I like to change too is the initial event wait duration. This is set for eight seconds. That's way, way too fast. I'm going to set this for 120. Uh, oops. 120 there. That gives me a whole two minutes to sit there, put the units on the map, talk to you guys about whatever before that first initial call comes. So you can modify that by, or that time right here with the initial event wait duration. So once you're done there, you can now go file save. It'll save the file. You're good to go. But remember, you have to change this in the challenge uh, file and the endless file. The reason for that is depending on which uh, mode you click on in the mod, whether you go endless or challenge. So we got that. Other things that you can change here are the callouts now. As you can see, they're also under events. And it says what event is fallen victim, shock, um, and it goes down heart attack, stroke, random fires, cigarette, shoplifting, and car theft. Uh, the big things here. To note are the enabled value. One means it's enabled, zero means it's not. One enabled, is zero is not. Uh, so the other thing you can change here is the average frequency between them. Um, if you feel like one of them's coming a little too often, you can change that frequency. Uh, something that's kind of a toss up in the air between people in the forums. They say lower numbers sometimes help, sometimes higher numbers. It's really kind of, you know, the game decides. Obviously, you could see the average number of events for 10 minutes 
you know, this is set for 0.8. Is that really going to be, I think I modified this one actually, that it's down to 0.8 because I was getting tired of all the medical calls. We're not going to have one stroke every 10 minutes. Maybe we will, you know, maybe we won't, you know, because we also have one heart attack per 10 minutes. You're not going to get, you know, so the computer randomly picks from one of these at the same time. The other one that I really like to change in here is the bomber. If we could find where he is at. Uh, here we go, bomber. So the average frequency, you can change that here, is enabled as you can tell. Now, two things to note in the bomber section that are really nice to be able to change are minimum seconds till bomb explodes. See, 90 seconds. We have to get bomb squad there, and that's the least amount of time that the computer is going to give us before the bomb explodes. Maximum amount of time is 120, so two minutes. You can change that if you feel like you want a little bit longer of time and more time. You know, I feel 90 is a little bit fast because of the maps. You know, we'll go 110 here and maybe 150 here. Now, that bomb can explode then any time between 110 and 150. So basically you have almost two minutes to two and a half minutes there before that bomb's going to explode. And once you're done modifying, I'll save or control save as well. Control S. So those are the big things you can change here. I'll put a link to the uh, or to the forum where they explain in detail a little bit more some of these values. Uh, there's a couple other little things you can change here, but remember, guys, it's in the mod folder for each mod under specs, and then the ones you change are the FP params challenge, the FP params endless. You have to do this for each individual mod. I don't know if you can copy and paste these files if they're transferable. Um, if anyone knows, let us know in the comments below. But hopefully this helps you guys out. If you guys need any more help, let me know in the comments. I'll be glad to help you guys out. Thanks a lot. See you all next time.